The first thing is a little bit to change the energy. I feel last week I was here uh, with Manchester City and I was a little bit down after the game when I felt what was going on. So we have to try to engage everybody. I have to try to try convince the players what I want to do, how I want to do it. They have to start accepting a different process, a different way of thinking. And I want to get all the staff and everybody at the club with the same mindset. You know, we have to build a culture that has to sustain the rest. If we don't have the right culture, the difficult moments, the tree is going to shake. So my job is to convince everybody this is how we're going to live. And if you are going to be part of this organization, it has to be in these terms and in this way. And after that, we can talk about other things. And obviously now we need immediate impact. We need to start winning games. We need to start to raise the level of confidence of the players. And finally, we need the fans. We need to engage them. We need to be able to transmit with our behaviors, our intention, what we want to bring to this football club. And I think that's the only way where if we give them, they will give us a little bit and suddenly we'll have to feel that connection because we need to plug these two things together. This is so powerful. I've been outside this football club and when you are outside, you look at it and you say, wow, this is massive, you know? So this is how I'm feeling. It's so much to do. I'm so excited. I think we have the right team. I had many conversations with all the senior people at the club. I feel Josh and Stam in the same path. So I have a good feeling. You said um, I must try and convince the players and I may need to start accepting a different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. So what has been going wrong in the last 18 months that you think has fundamentally changed the way they think? Well, I have my ideas that I would like to keep uh, for myself because I have to corroborate there when, when I see them act, when I see them behave, when I see them live together. Um, I want to do things my way by convincing them that it's the right way for everybody to live better. Um, everybody has to respect each other, first of all. And I want people who is accountable for what I'm asking him to do. I don't want people hiding. I want people to take responsibility for the jobs. And I want people who delivers passion and energy to the football club. Every, anyone who doesn't buy into this, that it has a negative effect or whatever, is not good enough for this environment and this culture. So there are things to change, absolutely, because they're not performing at the level that we expect them to but we have to help them. And to help them, I need to know what's happening. I need to understand them how they're feeling, what they're lacking, you know? If I get to reach that point, then I can help them. And then they will trust me, and then they will follow me. Phil, welcome. Right. Um, Mr. Erzov, of course, a player you've played with. He's welcomed your appointment. Has he been displaying enough energy? Has he got a future in this club under your identity? He's a massive player for this football club. You know, and as I said before, what I want is I want to understand how they are feeling and what they need, you know? It's not so much about what I need, about you have to understand them. Because sometimes we just with conversation, you get to understand a point, you know? And when you understand them, I can take the excuses out of them and focus in the things that are relevant and have an impact for the team on the pitch and off the pitch, you know? But of course, he's a massive player. I work with him and I know when, when he ticks, what can bring to the team, you know? So it's my job to get the best out of them, of course. In terms of the squad and mm -hmm. the quality you have in there, do you think they've been reaching their potential? How much do you expect to go into the transfer window in general? We haven't discussed the transfer windows, and obviously there are a lot of conversations to have around that. I'm only concerned about trying to win football games right now and finding a way to improve little things that bring them confidence, you know, to step on that football pitch and improve better than what they've been doing. Mikel, what do you think Arsenal can achieve for the rest of this season? I think to set targets at the moment is not what I would like to do. I would like to take it uh, day by day. We have a lot of things to do. What is clear is the ambition of this football club are very clear. You have to be in Europe, you have to fight for trophies, and the rest is not good enough. It's as simple as this. But now to talk about this is a little bit far. I would like to talk about what we're going to be doing tomorrow in the game, going on the game, leave the moral of the team, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, go to Bournemouth, start doing it again.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.